and this is the second video of my series making a fashion game that doesn't have a name because if it did it would be the name of the series first things first yes i'm dubbing this video if the first one was in english and a lot of my brazilian fans wasn't really happy about it so i'm making two videos from now one in portuguese the original audio and the other one like this dubbed in english for the rest of the world right now the video and the audio are not in sync but that's because i'm explaining why there is two videos that look the same in my channel in the end of this video please leave a comment about what you think about my dubbed video and if you guys will keep watching my videos about the game i hope that making the videos like this everyone is happy at the end we had some changes in the team not in the team but in the system in the production i forgot the word we had the following change we didn't dive in the project as much as we wanted to to give a up in the projects in the process we are making weekly meetings what was once monthly became weekly we may or may not produce more we did this because in the week that we had the reunion everyone was excited to make the project and two three days later everyone like forget about the project so now maybe we have more videos about the project in the channel i don't promise anything it's just because we are going to produce more i hope maybe it's too much for a video so i make it two and we have a video in the middle of the month so the next thing is that we now have a email account as we don't have the name of the game yet the address is bestfashiongame at gmail.com I'm gonna let it in the description too. Besides our organization, this email is for you guys to send us suggestions and questions about the game. Everything that is in your mind about our game, please send us. You can also comment here, but in the email you can make it more complete. Our team has a huge brainstorm that is when we sit down and talk about our ideas for the game. And it would make it a lot confusing to to make a video just throwing ideas at you so if you have an idea or if you have a question like is this going to be in your game please just send us or comment here because i'm not going to make a video talking all about our ideas and maybe it's not going to be in the real game so you can just send us a email we are going to respond to you maybe i am going to respond to you but i'm going to talk with our teammates so literally anything you have in your mind about our game suggestions and ideas please send us in the email in the last video i said that maybe our form for the testers were out in this video in that case no as i said our our last month production was really really slow and we only have the prototype i'm going to show you but it's not playable it's not what it's going to be it's not programmed yet so we don't really need people to test our game right now and when we need i'm going to let you guys know so don't need to worry about that now finally what we done last month pay attention what i'm going to show you guys next is a prototype a prototype what does this mean it means that it's not the game it's the idea that we have for the game we make first the prototype then we pass for the definitive imagine editing a million times the original so this is our prototype for the first screen who are taking care of design of interface and user experience is lucas Shermark. i'm going to leave all their names in the description box this is our prototype for the initial screen yes it looks like cool it. to be honest we don't have the idea for what to do in this initial screen as yes, i'm going to be really honest here we don't have the idea 
of what to do in the matter of interfaces. We research a lot, but when we don't know what to do, we copy. Of course, we're going to change later, but if you have an idea for the interface, please send us in our email or leave a comment. Let's go what we have here, what we have here. We have some bugs, but as I said, it's a prototype. Everything is black and white because we haven't defined the colors yet. We can already dress up the doll and we got some filters going on. There is a little effect when you take and pull the clothes and I want to know what you guys think about this effect. Covid doesn't have one so we are a little bit concerned about that. We don't really know if that is cool or that is cute because Covid doesn't have anything. So we did this little effect, we chose this and I think it's really nice, it doesn't get in the way of anything. It's really fast actually. Honestly, I like it, but I want to know your opinions about this. Do you like this effect or you just want the clothes to appear in the doll? And we have the hair, we are not showing colors as I said. Then we have the jewelry, the earring is the only one side because the hair is the other. In the foot we had the socks and the sneakers. This is our prototype. This is what we have so far, this series is kind of like a diary and a notice board. Also, to talk about what we already did, as I said, our process was really slow last month. The process is slow, it's not like in a week we have nothing and the other one we have the whole game. No, there is a whole process, a creative and artistic process is behind it. Besides our personal life, college, work and everything, things are not going to be moving fast. I am going to say this in all the videos of this series because there's a lot of people who don't know the process of making a game. And this is what I want to bring to you. The first step is having the idea and then you have to structure the idea. The next step is the prototype. So I'm structuring the idea and the other ones are prototyping. Our goal next month is simple work in the project. I'm not going to detail what we are going to do next month because we may not do what we are promising here. So it's best for me not say anything and when the other months arrives, you guys get surprised of how much we did or not expecting anything. What I can say is what I am going to do, that is work on the game design document, is where the whole design of the game is, is basically our game in a text. I am going to post it when it's done, then you can see our ideas for the game and our plans for the game. This is what I plan to do, I may not finish because it's a lot. And the game design document never stop changing, it changes when the game changes. And this was the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just remember that what I showed you guys today, it was the prototype. The game may not be the same as the prototype, probably won't be the same. Any questions, any suggestions, please send us an email or comment here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!